Hello, Leanne here from Mobile Artes. This is a quick introduction to you all about the core muscles. So most people start Pilates because they've been told they need to strengthen their core and all their pain, stiffness and mobility issues will be fixed just like magic. Pilates is so much more than just strengthening the core. It teaches you how to hold yourself, how to breathe, to move your body without involving muscles that just aren't needed and how to strengthen, gain flexibility and on and on and on. Saying that, the core is incredibly important and will teach you lifelong skills that will protect your whole body from future injuries. Having a stronger core helps you stand better, breathe better, move better and generally feel so much better. The pelvic floor muscles form part of a series of muscles that look a bit like a sling from the pubic bone to the base of your spine. These muscles are really important for things like going to the loo, giving birth, holding your organs in place, and they also contribute to the stability of your spine. If you imagine your core like a tree trunk, your pelvic floor forms part of the bottom of your trunk. It works with your diaphragm, so when you breathe, your diaphragm moves down along with your pelvic floor muscles, which relax. Then when you exhale, you can contract your pelvic floor muscles easier as they lift up along with lifting your diaphragm. A weak pelvic floor can cause lower back pain, hip issues and sacroiliac joint pain. So if you have an oops moment when you laugh or cough, sometimes focusing on just strengthening your pelvic floor muscles won't work. You need to work on the rest of your body. So making sure your body is in alignment, breathing deeply, strengthening all of your core muscles and keeping your spine flexible all contribute to a stronger pelvic floor. We work on all of these in Pilates. The transverse abdominus or TVA form the deepest layer of muscles in your stomach running between your hips and your pelvis. So when you activate them, they create a deep natural corset around your organs and your spine. And in particular, they help to stabilize the spine during movements that involve your arms and your legs. So the TVA help your neck stay in neutral and prevent the lower half of your back from bending too excessively and causing any injuries. If your TVA is not very strong, you may find that your stomach could bulge forward tilting your pelvis forward, resulting in your spine curving inwards. This is one of the main causes of lower back pain. And we do a lot of movement design to help you identify where your TVA are and what it feels like to activate them. So Pilates will help you strengthen them and learn how to activate them naturally. And there are two ways of activating these muscles. So bracing is one technique where you imagine you are getting ready for a punch in the stomach. So holding those muscles really, really tight without any movement. Lots of people with pain naturally brace their bodies for movement, especially if you have hypermobility or you've experienced severe pain on movement. And this can unfortunately cause issues as bracing your body makes it very difficult to move with ease, which can then increase pain and cause a lot of stiffness. So instead, in Pilates, you will learn how to hollow those muscles, which is where you pull your belly button back towards your spine to make your tummy as small as possible. The multifidus is a group of short, triangular-shaped muscles that attach to the spinal column all the way from the bottom of your spe spine to your neck. They're very small, but they're considered the most powerful muscles to provide support to the spine. So their stability helps each vertebra work more effectively and reduces the degeneration of the joint structures caused by friction from everyday movement. And the multifidus muscles help to take the pressure off the vertebral discs. So this is so that our body weight can be well distributed along the whole of your spine. And additionally, the superficial muscle group keeps our spine straight while the deep muscle group contributes significantly to the stability of your spine. So these two groups of multifidus muscles are recruited during many of our daily actions. This includes bending backwards, sideways, and even turning our body to the side. 
it's actually been discovered that multifidus muscles get activated before any action is carried out. So for example, you're about to pick up something in front of you. Before you move your arm, your multifidus muscles will start contracting, preparing your spine for movement and preventing it from getting hurt. And these muscles don't actually kind of naturally contract yourself. You can't actually use your brain to think, I'm going to contract my multifidus muscles. You actually need to contract your transverse abdominus muscles, and that is how you contract your multifidus muscles and gain the stability in your spine. So that's it for our whistle stop tour of the core muscles. I hope it all made sense, but if you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch anytime and I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Bye.